Entering the heart mind is incredibly valuable as the heart mind is where we allow our intuition to grow and manifest. It's where we experience love, connection, light. It's where we communicate to animals. It's where we're able to truly listen without putting our biases and programs into what we're listening to. It's where we can truly be open to the most divine source of energy and connection. It's where our judgments fade and where we see the truth, where we feel those with positive intentions and those with negative intentions without judgment, but adjusting ourselves accordingly. It's where we're able to connect to our strongest powers and abilities without overwhelming ourselves in any way without making negative decisions or impacts because we are living in the present and we are allowing ourselves to really connect to this divine source of energy and live within the flow state. So we're able to be safe and protected naturally and our energy becomes so strong, our light and love is able to expand so strongly so that even if we're around those that are hateful, those that are poisoned by fear, we're able to retain our energy, we don't become drained, we don't become separated or disconnected because we're in our center, we're in our core. We are living strongly and we know ourselves and when we really know ourselves, it's impossible to lose ourselves. But we must stay true and the head mind becomes manipulated so easily. It truly does. Any program, any subliminal, even a frequency from, from a television, from a piece of technology, from anything, from so many man-made things, it influences us. Subliminals and different music and shows and what people say, programs that people are just sharing with us, not even knowing what they're saying, but they're believing it fully. That influences the head mind, but the heart mind, the heart mind is only connected to love and connection to Mother Earth, it's unable to be negatively influenced. It's unable to be rocked because it's steady, it's present, it's constantly flowing. You cannot cause suffering or basically accept suffering within yourself when you are rooted in true love, true connection, and living in the heart mind. So how do we do this? How do we change our focus from our head minds that we're so used to living in all the way to our heart minds? Well, we bring our attention and focus downwards. We're so used, we look at our physical eyes and our head and we think in our thoughts. So our attention is up here basically. But the same way that if you have a feeling on your hand, your attention goes to your hand, or if someone like maybe touches some part of your body, your elbow, your knee, whatever it is, you bring your attention there. Or if you have some pain in your body, let's say you have a pain in your foot, your attention goes there. You are able to bring your focus and attention to different parts of your body. So you just keep it downwards. You can start the process. You just close your eyes. And instead of focusing your attention in your head space, you focus your attention within the center of your chest where your heart chakra resides. And the heart chakra is not where the physical beating heart is. It's in a separate spot, but close. And you really feel within, you become present, you bring your attention downwards. If it helps, you can visualize a staircase or an elevator or a slide and then allow yourself, view yourself, visualize yourself sliding down, walking down, going down this, and then feeling yourself in the center, but be present. Allow yourself to truly be here, and then notice your surroundings. Allow yourself, yes, to use your physical ears, your physical nose. You can use these senses, but have your attention and focus continuously in this area. Learn how to think, feel, experience, receive messages. Learn how to listen to nature, listen to the animals and beings of nature, even listening to nonverbal people or listening to people's true intentions, but from this heart, from within. The same way that you think thoughts in your head mind, you experience life in your heart mind and you just live in this space. And yes, you can open your physical eyes, 
the more that you practice this, we're so accustomed to being in our head mind, but the more we practice living in our heart minds and basically having our attention and focus within and experiencing life through this, we can also internalize what our physical eyes or our head eyes are seeing and internalize it, but then process it within the heart mind. So it's learning. And you do feel, you feel more balanced, you feel more steady. You feel more centered when you're living within the heart mind. You feel more still. You're able to truly listen without all the background chatter and information that's supposed to be given will be. Now, some ways that this can be difficult is if you scroll too much on social media or if you take in too much information from the outside and you're overstimulated, it can be really hard to find your center in the heart. But when you spend quiet time in nature, when you ground yourself, when you maybe do some barefoot walking, then you can really bring your attention and focus in and it becomes very easy. And you can walk, you can go about your day while continuously living in the center experiencing life through the center and that's where your power is that's where your divine wisdom and power lays now experience and trust yourself and know that if you need anything I'm here to help in the ways that I'm able my mission is to restore balance and I'm here to do that in any way I can Love on.